In this tutorial, I'll show you how to buy a faster computer. Now, granted, all of today's computers are faster than last year's or the years before, the years before, so if your computer is older, then it's going to be slower. So, newer models are going to be faster. So, new models equals faster. Next thing you want to look at, processors. For all intents and purposes, Intel processors are faster in general. Get one of the i-cores right now, or Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, or Core i9 officers. I mean processors. The bigger the number after the i, the better the processor. A Core i3 processor is pretty good for all in general stuff. Core i5 is like for uh, video editing and stuff. i7 is for extreme whatever, and i9 is just ridiculous fast. So get a, a computer with an Intel processor, one of the core i3, i5, i7, or i9s. The bigger the number, the faster it is. Next thing you want to think about is processor speed. When you see CPU 2.7 gigahertz, what do you think of? Uh -huh. The bigger the gigahertz, the faster the computer will be. If you see a computer that has a 3 gigahertz processor and one that says 3.6 gigahertz, get the 3.6 gigahertz. It's going to be faster. Last thing you need to look at is RAM. R-A-M. The more gigabytes you have in RAM, the better. What RAM does is it allows you to multitask. So you can open up this program and this program and that program and that program and still have your same speed. You can still be fast with less RAM. You know, that's all part of the processor speed, but you can't open up so many programs. So, for all intents and purposes, RAM is, more RAM is better. More RAM is better. Last but not least, the number of cores in your processor. If you, if you see this commercial, you know, the new Pentium IR blah 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 dual core processor or, or quad core processor or, or hexa core processor. The more cores, the better. Faster. With those things in mind, go get yourself a fast computer. Have a nice day.